Yo, what's the deal, good people? You know what it is, your boy is here, giving you the astral weather, have no fear. Mira, it's Augusto, August 1st. Yeah, come on, Leo season, we rocking. The Taylor Twins got their birthdays coming up. So yes, I already did the astral weather for August 1st with the Aquarius Super Full Moon. But what we're gonna look at is the actual chart for later that day when I'm on live with Miss Debbie Solaris. All right, letting you know what's really going on in the cosmos as I'm talking to the galactic historian or the galactic guru, as I renamed her, breaking down really um, some amazing stuff, looking at the current galactic energy, understanding the galactic, which I don't totally get, and even, yes, some aliens and what happened last Wednesday in Congress and all that pushkabaka booga boos, okay? So, um, yeah, the chart is a Capricorn ascendant, and we're talking about at 8 p.m. Eastern, which is when I'll be going on live with my guest on episode 153. Knowledge is love, smooth like a dove. Lyrically, you want to know I shine up above. Steadily, the metal, these pedigree better be better than being just a basic human being. Yo, I'm flowing, flying. I got a hip hop crew. We'll be coming around the city just to visit you. It's a hip hop vacation all around the nation. Conquering this emotion is a deeper demonstration. So I didn't waste my ink trying to insult my nation. All false truths and dirty discussions have stop there <laughs> so all right so let's go to the chart look at the astro weather and talk about tuesday the day of the planet mars which is in virgo trining jupiter august 1st leo season nine degrees aquarius moon at this point it's no longer nine degrees all right let's check it out all right, let's dig into the chart. You can see the full chart here with the Capricorn Ascendant. Of course, the main focus is still the moon being in Aquarius and the Leo sun. We got the Venus retrograde, all that good stuff. So tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, we got Pluto on the Ascendant and a Capricorn rising. And you do see when Miss Debbie Solaris is on, now, you could look at the third house, right, in the chart as social media, okay? So we have Saturn, the chart ruler, which is what you would look for in a Capricorn Ascendant, right? Kind of really, you know, breaking things down for you in terms of being disciplined when you're speaking about spirituality in the local community. But, and the Neptune and all that, but what's really fascinating is the internet, astrology aliens which is the 11th house, okay? And for that, you have the Scorpio, right? And, oh, there I am, Eric. <laughs> there are no accidents. But um, really, you know, we're still dealing with this Cardinal Cross and we'll be talking about the aliens and when you look at it in terms of the government report, well, for the Capricorn Ascendant, we have to look at the Gemini 6th house, so communication for work and service, right? And we have Vesta there. But the 10th house, the government, the authority, Libra South Node. So, you know, it's almost like there's some information that is kind of, you know, about relationships that need to be discussed that the government has been talking about. But the Scorpio 11th house in terms of UFOs and aliens, wow, that's kind of interesting. And, you know, the first house, Pluto, Capricorn. But it's all about this Aquarius moon. It's an Aquarius moon day. And with the Aquarius moon, you know, rocking at 8 p.m. Eastern, it went from the nine, um, you know, all the way over here to this, what, 12 degrees. Okay, so a few hours later in the day, because it takes um, two hours for the moon to move a degree in the chart. And it spends 60 hours in a house and sign, okay, for two and a half days. 
So that's how you, you know, you break it down in the chart. But so overall, I mean, tomorrow, we're going to have fun tomorrow night, Debbie and I, and hopefully you guys join us. But what's more importantly, and I say tomorrow night, but really it's tonight, right? I'm recording this late night uh, on July 31st, but it's the astro weather for August 1st. So tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, Big E Astrology on the YouTube, okay? Um, but when I think about, you know, this being the chart for the collective, but me having a guest, the cancer in the seventh house. And it is Leo season. And look, the Juno and part of fortune are there. Ah, no accident. So Debbie and I should have a blessed show and Dog Star Sirius there, which um, she spoke about my galactic history that I had some experience with uh, Lyran and uh, Orion and Sirius and some other places that, you know, I don't really remember. Uh, I have to go back and listen to it, to be honest with you. But I think what's fitting is the Leo sun in the eighth house. And Debbie is the Leo. Okay. So talking about the Leo sun, the Venus retrograde, the black moon Lilith. And then, you know, we obviously are still dealing with in the ninth house of your beliefs and philosophies, the Mercury and the Mars. So there's definitely that exploration, like talking about the beliefs and philosophies at this time of my podcast. Okay. So I hope you guys, you know, do well. I mean, we really, I'm going to be charging my crystals, you know, tonight into tomorrow night. <sighs> Looking forward to this new moon and definitely embracing love over fear and just a positive mindset. Okay. Um, sad to hear some young actor died um, from a movie and there's talks about Disney going with uh, Apple and this, they're never going to end the Screen Actors Guild or the writer's strike. Who knows, right? Um, but I told you that you may hear some explosive news late tonight and um, different things. And, you know, things are not looking so, so great. And then you also have drama in Alabama and things about women's rights and reproductive stuff and you know, it's just sad, you know, like I always tell you, I'm, I don't judge people for your beliefs. You know, I'm pro-choice and I'm pro-life, you know what I mean? But I feel as a man, I have no right to tell a woman what to do with her body. That's between her and God, okay? So I uh, stay in my lane when it comes to that, <laughs> you know, and, um, but, you know, I don't feel like people should just be having random abortions just because... They didn't want to have protected sex or things like that either. So it's a it's a fine line and a pendulum swing. But, you know, I think when you're focusing on health, it's important. And, you know, we just got to learn to get along, good people. Spread love, you know, and that's what the age of Aquarius is about. Power to the people. But really, remember, everybody gets a slice of vegan pizza and some kombu and some kombucha. OK. And focusing on health with the Venus and the sun in eighth house, really focusing on the herbs and the plant medicine and finding pleasure in the thin veil between death and rebirth, which Debbie and I will discuss and, and have fun with. Right. The galactic historian will guide us well. So I'm looking forward to that. So enjoy the astro weather tomorrow, the Aquarius super full moon at 231 p.m. Eastern. Um, please join us tonight tonight august 1st <laughs> as we get closer to the 88 lion gates portal it's 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 really wild the, the solar flares the heat's calming down a little bit so that's nice i mean it's still hot as heck i mean i think today in arizona we are 104 but way different from 109 and the 116 we've been dealing with forever forever ever forever ever and um yeah I am uh, really looking forward to this chart and this energy, you know, and the North Node in the fourth house. There'll definitely be some work from home as I present Knowledge is Love Astrology podcast to you, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, August 1st, 
on YouTube for Big E Astrology with Ms. Debbie Solaris. Okay, you guys, so come with your questions, come with an open mind, and join us tomorrow night, which should be a lot of fun. And, um, you know, we'll be talking about some astrology and what's going on. Are we really alone? Are we not? What's going on with the aliens? What's going on with the North Pole? Mm. You didn't know what to think about that, did you? Right? Ah, yeah, so, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I think, um, sorry, I'm looking for my my special uh, energy friend here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this Aquarius super full moon. And obviously the second time on my show, having Debbie Solaris join me, I'm honored, I'm humbled, you know, to have her on as a guest to share her with you guys, because that's why knowledge is love, right? One of my eisms, and I told you I'll be starting that newsletter soon. If you love someone, you keep them in the know. They should never have to guess, assume, or believe because they can do that wrong. Therefore, knowledge is love. I love y'all. I like to keep you all in the know. And we'll be talking about it. And we'll, we'll, you know, maybe even at the end of the show, last time we talked more about some of these crystals. And maybe we'll get into, um, you know, some of the crystals and some of the technology maybe that they're using on these uh, spaceships. Right? It's kind of wild that supposedly we went to the moon and we lost the technology or destroyed it and we can't get back to the moon. Right? Fugazi. <laughs> Come on, use your third eye, people. Wake up, pay attention, and ask yourself this question. Who was filming it? And how did they film it? Yeah. So, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I've always had an open mind. I'm always curious. I said that if I was a college professor, my class would be uh, titled Free Thinking 403. Okay. And it's the year of the 7th, 2023, 403-7, right? Spirituality. So God bless you. Um, I will see you tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, August 1st. And please be smart, be safe, enjoy this Aquarius super full moon. And, um, you know, get to rocking and dancing. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I don't know about the hip hop astrology, how Virgos get down for the crown, but it's Leo season. So hit me up. You want to book a birth chart reading for this Leo birth chart sale. It ends August 21st. Then my Virgos, I'm going to have a stupendous sale for the Virgos. And I hope you guys saw I announced on July 31st yesterday um, that I started my moon tracking service, $134. It's amazing. So check that out. And uh, I'll see you tonight, YouTube, 8 p.m. Eastern, Big East Astrology with Debbie Solaris. And remember, this Aquarius uh, moon, it's with us Tuesday, Wednesday, and a little bit of Thursday. And then we have Thursday, Friday, Saturday of the Pisces moon. Yeah, I may come back on later this week, Friday or Saturday night. We'll see. All right? Biggie Astrology. Peace. August 1st, Astro Weather.